Hello there, I'm Dr. Scott Mosser. I'm a board-certified plastic surgeon and FTM top surgeon in San Francisco, California. And I created this video so that people can learn how an FTM periareolar mastectomy is done uh, without being subjected to kind of all the gore of a live surgery video. Uh, the periareolar incision is only available to patients with mild to moderate skin excess. To learn more about what surgical options are available for different body types and chest shapes, please click on the link. The biggest advantage to the periareolar incision is that the surgeon can remove some skin, but the patient can still enjoy an often minimally visible scar that is fairly well hidden around the areolar region. We do this by removing sort of a donut shape of skin, which you'll see in a second. So let's get started. So the first thing that is done is resizing the areola to the standard male size of 22 millimeters. Uh, then and there's a marking made in the outer circle which determines exactly how much skin needs to be removed for a particular patient. These two circles create something of a donut shape and all of the outermost skin of this donut, which is the epithelium, uh, is very precisely removed, leaving behind the deeper layers of the white dermis of skin. Uh, so to get the breast tissue out, a small curved incision is made within this region of the dermis. And sometimes I perform liposuction, though often I'm able to get the, all of the edges of the tissue clean and the contour excellent through just directly removing the breast tissue. So liposuction is a sometimes yes, sometimes no. The breast tissue is then removed, and though it's simplified here, this is the most challenging part because the surgeon not only has to work through this tiny little hole, but also has to leave behind a very uniform thickness of fat beneath the skin so the chest will have a smooth and nice symmetrical result. It's critical for the surgeon here to be kind of super OCD to get as much uniformity as possible. And then we get ready to tighten the skin. The way the skin is tightened is called the purse string, which means a stitch is hidden beneath the skin and weaves back and forth, uh, much like the string in an actual coin purse, which draws the outer circle down to match the size of the inner circle, as you see here. So if one were to imagine doing this with fabric, you could ima imagine that an outer circle being drawn down could result in some circumferential pleating, and that might happen with a periareolar approach. As a matter of fact, it's the major downside of this surgery for patients with more skin excess. Uh, fortunately, the skin is dynamic, and after surgery, usually about 70% or so of this pleating resolves on its own. So then the uh, final steps are uh, a layer of dissolving sutures are used to close the skin, and then when healed, uh, the incision is relatively hidden around the newly pigmented sized areola. Uh, one small thing that is, is uh, not present in this video is that for the vast majority of periareolar incisions, uh, drains which reside beneath the skin and come out directly through that same incision are usually placed and stay in place for about six days. So there you have it. To learn more, uh, click on the link. And uh, for more videos on FTM so top surgery, uh, either visit the website or, uh, or click on the other uh, more videos link that's present as well. Hope you have a great day.